The brilliant yet chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin culminates his research into the nature of time itself. Helped by his dedicated assistant Lees and Kelvin, Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine, which for complicated science reasons looks exactly like a portable shower. When the Science Journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh wait, there it is. Winner of the Lamest Invention Award. Ridiculed for its appearance, the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine. Dr. Lupin, of course, accepts this setback with grace and dignity. For about two seconds, driven to madness, he launches himself into the past, bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest works. Can the bumbling Kelvin, driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong, repair the unraveling timeline? Or will he totally blow it and doom the universe to oblivion? Well, great. We're 10 seconds in and the game already has an 18 plus rating. Kelvin? Kelvin, can you, can you hear me? Ah! Please? Kelvin, you're alive. Are you all right? Well, the water pressure was a little low for my taste, but... Kelvin, focus. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, looks like downtown somewhere. Uh, France, maybe? Okay, good. The system says you're actually in Austria. Austria? Oi, good time, Mike! Austria, Kelvin. Not Australia. And it's 1804. So, uh, why did Lupin come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog! The composer, Kelvin. According to history, Ludwig von Beethoven penned just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable that a man of his genius would end his career so suddenly. You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. You need to find Beethoven and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. So, uh, what does the symphony sound like? Who knows? It's been erased from history. Uh, Kelvin, the connection's breaking up. Good luck! Don't do anything stupid! It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. It's busted. Uh, will this work for a crystal ball replacement? Hey, thanks. This should work great. Let me repay the favor with a complimentary fortune. Complimentary as in free, right? That's the one. Awesome! Hmm, wow, wow. Hmm, the shapes are indistinct. Your fate seems yet undecided. Wait, never mind. Somebody's definitely going to shoot you. What? Are you serious? Yep, it's right there in the ball. Whatever happened to divination is a mysterious and fickle crap? This time it was mysteriously clear. Oh, man. Well, thanks, I guess. Tell your friends. You 
expect me to pay just to park here? Think of it as a status symbol. Parking here says, I have so much money I wasted on parking for no reason. That is brilliant! Hey! Is there a concert going on in there? There is. Can I go in? You cannot. Tickets are sold out. How do you know I don't have a ticket? <laughs> Call it a hunch. One ring toss, please. Here's your money. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up, hook a target, and win! Ring toss. Sounds fun. More fun than a warehouse full of barley, my boy. Come on up and try your luck. Ring toss. More fun than a Well, don't just stand there, Sonny. Give it a go. Behold! I have created art! My desire to create art has been trumped by my desire to pick up this comically oversized ring. How the devil did you... you... you cheated me! You've been out-cheated, you cheaty cheater! Now where's my prize? Fine. Here. Yeah, that's probably safe. Read it and weep, cucumber face. One symphony ticket. What the? Uh, where did you find this? It doesn't matter and you know it. Now let me through. Oh, very well. Try not to ruin the entire performance with your blabbering. No promises. Why would somebody make a ladder this short? Wait a minute! Gnomes must be real! Is this mop made of... human hair? Well, sure is. Oh, yuck. What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, me? Uh, just admiring some fine musical craftsmanship. I've got my eye on you.
this cobra knows good music when he hears it. I am not a smart man. Kelvin, are you there? What's your status? My status? Uh, it's, uh, good. Great. What progress have you made? Well, earlier I won a rigged carnival game, and just now I put a cobra in my backpack. No need to be a smartass, Kelvin. I'm not. I really did those things. Wow, that's... much worse. Kelvin, please stop handling venomous things and start saving the world, okay? I'm on it. I don't recall you checking any garments. Sounds like somebody's got a fuzzy memory. <laughs> Have a pleasant evening. Those are some seriously styling duds. Please present your claim ticket if you wish to retrieve your garment. Behold the perfect snooty disguise! Boom! Just call me Lord Kelvin. Uh, wait, I think that's taken. Good evening, smelly door person. I am filthy sausage mogul Abraham van Froman, and I demand admittance into this cosmopolitan beer hall. Good evening, Herr Froman. Please come right in. Wait a minute. Have I seen you here before, Herr Froman? What? No. Nope. I am visiting from Schnitzelberg. My mistake. Enjoy your evening, sir. Kelvin, why are you dressed like that fancy peanut? I use the power of disguise to sneak into an upscale bar. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so glad you've prioritized drinking over the impending doom of the universe. Two birds with one stone, Lees. I have it on semi-decent authority that Beethoven is somewhere in this bar right now. Well, hurry up and get him back on track. The system detected another temporal disturbance. Lupin's still at it. You can count on Abraham von Froman. Who is that? It's me. I invented a brilliant pseudonym to complete my disguise. Ugh, whatever works, Kelvin. Hello, friend. <gasps> Take a seat and try your luck against the reigning, rain, reigning champion. You want me to arm wrestle that jack dude? No chance! Oh, contraire, mon ami. No, no, no. Not arm wrestle. Pop, shaker, uh, brock, prip, uh, brock, brock, uh oh. You mean rock, paper, scissors? Yes, that one. Uh, that is the one right there in the middle. What do I get if I win? You get the most best prize in the world. Beer. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> you lose. What the? Did you just shoot me? Oh, maybe this is what that fortune teller was talking about. Ah, looks like someone's never played played tournament rules before. Come back when you've studied up, kiddo.
Nice. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please! You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro! Join us in a broast! Uh, what? A broast, bro? A bro toast? Sure! Let me go grab a mug. How the heck did you get in here? You don't meet the dress code at all. Easy. I've been in here since before they had one. When did they start? I don't know. Four years ago? You, sir, are a legend. <laughs> Cheers to that, brother. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? I'll take a needlessly elaborate cocktail. Outstanding choice, sir. I'll prepare you my signature drink, the Ardalan Samimi. The September issue of Snobbery describes it as acerbic yet plummy with subtle hints of lavender and beef. You're really gonna like this. Baller! Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Give me the strongest thing you got. The Malaskia, sir? I'm afraid that particular drink requires a prescription. Whoa. How come? The last few patrons to order it experienced some ill effects. What, like a stomachache? They imploded. Cool. I'm good for now. I am at your service, sir. I better be careful with these. I'm pretty allergic. Not to mention they've been here longer than I have. Excuse me, Mr... Krizlink. Dr. Krizlink. Uh, can I help you? My legs feel all mushy. I need a prescription for Melaskia before it's too late. Hmm, likely a mild case of syphilis. Indeed. Indeed. I recommend six iodine tablets and a week's bed rest. Dang it. Hey, Doc, you think I could have out the last year prescription now? Good heavens! An acute facial dysmography! Oh, this affliction is far beyond my ability to treat. Here, enjoy one last beverage before your head blows up. My condolences. Thanks! Ha! I haven't pulled that trick since my organic chemistry final. One Melaskia, please. Oh, uh, here's my prescription. Very good, sir. Before I make this, however, I am required to inform you of the following disclaimers. Melaskia is not recommended for consumption by the ill or infirm. Do not drink Melaskia with other forms of alcohol. Do not drink Melaskia before or after operating a threshing machine. Do not drink Melaskia in the vicinity of a fountain or decorative clock. Do not drink Melaskia in Spain. 
Do not drink Malaskia during an existential crisis. Do not spell Malaskia. Do not drink Malaskia upside down. Do not think that drinking Malaskia somehow makes you better than Malaskia. If Malaskia asks you a question, do not answer. And finally, do not, 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 not drink Malaskia. Do you acknowledge and accept these disclaimers, sir? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gimme. What business do you have with the shuffler? Could I borrow your cards? Cards? What is the shuffler without his cards? What is a muskox without his musk? What is the barrel salesman without his mini barrels? All right, all right, I got it. Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The Shuffler is awed by your observational prowess. If I bring you a drink, will you let me borrow your cards for a few minutes? The Shuffler is not one to make promises, but perhaps. The Kelvin will see you later. The Shuffler does not appreciate your mockery. Here you are, Mr. Shuffler. It's the bartender's latest creation, the, uh, Alice. Subversively sweet, with notes of dolphin and basement mold. The Shuffler accepts your gift with skepticism and curiosity. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Will this deck of cards work? Yes, these should do the trick. Let's see. The answer to your quandary is lost forever at the bottom of the Dead Sea. What? I can't even swim! Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Cards were upside down. The answer to your quandary is at the bottom left corner of a parchment wall. Oh, cryptic. You know it. Rock? That's too mainstream for me. I was always more of a scissors guy. Heck yeah, scissors. Can't lose with scissors. Real talk. Anybody who tells you they like throwing paper is lying. Weird. Gun beats rock, paper, and scissors, but horns beat gun? Horns, huh? They lose rock, paper, and scissors, but beat gun, for some reason.
Boom! Take that, silent scowling guy! You just got wrecked! <laughs> oh god, uh, I mean, uh, thank you for the friendly and competitive match! Please don't rip off my arms! One victory beer, please! Uh, hey, there's a giant hole in my mug? Yes, sir, I added that to let the beer breathe properly. It should improve mouthfeel. Well, okay, uh, except the beer just spilled all over the counter. Oh, right, liquids. Sorry, sir, I'd pour you a replacement, but we're all out. Nice, looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please! You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro, join us in a broast. Uh, what? A broast, bro? A bro toast? Sure, let me go grab a mug. Test your might. All right, bros, let's do this. Heck yeah, bro. instability just fell by 30 percent no kelvin that's a good thing oh yay i kind of can't believe it but whatever you're doing is actually working so you're saying i can come home now and binge watch star snails y what no we need to get you to the next temporal anomaly immediately but star snails <sighs> kelvin you can't watch star snails if lupin implodes the universe yeah, fine. Beam in the shower or whatever. Beaming in now. See you on the other side, Kelvin. Ugh, drain hair. Eat your heart out, McFly. You there, Kelvin? Present and accounted for. All right, the system says you're in London now, and odds are good you're there to help Isaac Newton. The science fiction dude. You're thinking of Isaac Asimov. The, uh, violinist. Eat suck, Perlman. Ah, the Swedish tennis player. Kelvin, that's Bjorn Borg. <sighs> Look. In 1672, Isaac Newton published groundbreaking research on the nature of optics. And after that... Nothing else? Bingo. Lupin must have meddled with Newton's later research somehow. Gotcha. I'll get him back on track.
Do we, uh, know what else he might have been working on? I have no clue, but I imagine he does. Good luck, Kelvin. This book return is full of mail. I guess the postman got confused. I'll just grab a few letters. They probably weren't going to reach their destination anyway. I shall returneth thine horn forthwith, noble knight. Wow. Really wasn't expecting to get away with that one. Did you just take some of my wood chips? Huh, uh, I'll bring them back? You better. I'm making a salad later. Ugh, gross. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like there's one coal down there that isn't super hot. What the? Carbonated tea? Yes, sir. Best in the city. Or at least it will be as soon as I'm done perfecting the recipe. Care for a cup? What's that crazy machine behind you? It's called a gronk. Uh, what the heck does that stand for? Not a clue. It's from Prussia. Makes marvelous tea, though. What's in it? Great secret, my friend. It's not people, right? I saw this one movie where it was people. Uh... Great secret, my friend. All right, sure. Hit me. That's the spirit. Itches and burns. Oh, it's like a liquid rash. Just the kick you need to start your day. This funnel is the greatest funnel I have ever seen. I must have it. You can't have it. But I must have it. But you can't have it. I have to make sure nobody else makes the same mistake I did. Fancy another cup? I've tweaked the settings to make it even more delicious. All right, sure. Hit me. That's the spirit. Fie, not again. Yoink! Confound it all! No! 
Oh, this stuff is rank! It's gotta be useful for something, though. I grabbed enough salt for the first time. It's Newton's mailbox, now crammed with a bunch of random mail. Oh, joy. You again. Looks like you have some mail. Oh, perhaps my Larry Plotter fan club application has been approved. Thanks for the help, conveniently placed bushes. Kelvin, what did you do? Well, I certainly didn't just talk to some bushes. Kelvin, Isaac Newton is currently known throughout history. Perfect! Mission accomplished! For having written the single worst fan fiction ever. Oh, okay. But how do we know that isn't what he's supposed to be famous for? The fan fiction is titled Larry Plotter and the Insufferable Nuisance in the Ugly Vest. Well, I mean... That could be anybody. Damn it, Kelvin! The temporal lattice is starting to unravel! I'll do what I can to stabilize it from here, but you need to fix whatever you did, and fast! Lease out! These are full of something dark and viscous. Oil, maybe? The rust came right off! Amazing! Oh god, I sound like an infomercial. Uh-oh. Looks like this ball return has a faulty, uh, transistor. A faulty what? Transistor. It's highly technical. Fortunately, I have a replacement right here. Go ahead, take a test shot. Good as new. Okay, bye. Oh, look out! It's a self-righteous conservationist! Where? Don't do that to me, man! My blood pressure can't handle it.
Oh, come! There's a plum bob hanging from the well. There's a plum bob hanging from the well. Pulverized. Take that, sulfur! Serves you right for smelling like butt. Whoa, I think I just reinvented gunpowder. Door ready for breach. Say your prayers, door. a little more time but Kelvin you have the look in your eye that you get whenever you explode something did you explode something me no Kelvin okay maybe but it's critical to the mission this door was like super locked did you try knocking knocking is for chumps Lise you've always said that I have literally never said uh oh Kelvin I, I just picked up another disturbance this one's real bad get Newton sorted now er then whatever Whack! You know what? I'm always just picking up objects and shoving them into my backpack. This time, I'm doing it with style. Ads. <sighs> Guess I'll stick to the basics. Please do not touch the magnet, unless you have a scholarly reason to do so. Are you in charge here? As much as any librarian can claim to be in charge of such magnificent tomes of truth. Um, okay. How might I assist you, fellow knowledge seeker? Actually, I'm here to inspect the magnet for uh, magnetic distortions. Extremely dangerous. Oh, dear. Please, feel free to take a look. I do ask, however, that we keep the magnet inside the library. See you around. Onward, toward enlightenment. Whoa, this disc is seriously magnetized.
Nice statues. What? What the? How did you get up here? I used the door, silly. Hmm. The door was supposed to be locked. Please leave. My art requires the utmost precision. No, really. Look, look, look. The statue is super crooked. <gasps> Mon dieu. I can't believe it. But you're right. I must correct this immediately. No! yelled Larry Plotter. He was pulled toward the ground with a force proportional to... Proportional to... So I got Newton to stop writing that lousy fan fiction? Uh, not quite. He just changed the title to Larry Plotter in the Inverse Square Law of Gravitation. But, you know, close enough to save the universe. So can I come home now? Please? Sorry, Kelvin. There's at least one more anomaly we need to fix immediately. Lame. Why don't we switch jobs for this one? Oh, because you don't know how to use any of the equipment in the lab? Except the massage chair. He has a name, please. <sighs> Except Fabio Armand Comichel. Thank you. Time machine incoming. This isn't where I left my loofah. The, that's not my time machine. What the heck is it? And where'd the shower get to? Oh dear, oh dear. Um, yes, hello, gentlemen. I was hoping you could direct me toward the- Are you seeing this, bros? Did that dude just walk out of a magic shower, bro? Oh, he did, bro. What a weirdo. Hey, Lise, uh, quick question. Do we get to keep our jobs when this is all over? You mean, our jobs working for the total whack job scientist who went back in time just to steal a bunch of intellectual property? Yep, those. I'm thinking no. Oh, man. I really don't want to have to go back to my last job. What was it? Um, you know that weird billionaire Andreas Pries? Didn't he make that dating app where you only get to see the other person's nose? Yeah, I was his personal napkin. I wore a big white t-shirt, and whenever he ate something with a lot of sauce... Hey! start the mission. Looks like you're in Florence around 1503. Huh? Oh, um, who am I here to help? Leonardo da Vinci, which is a bit of a problem. He's famous for about a million different things. Incredible inventions, beautiful paintings, landmark anatomical research. So we have no idea what Lupin kept him from doing. Right. We can only hope Leonardo has some idea. Good luck, Kelvin. It's locked, and it looks very sturdy. I think it's a book of alchemy recipes. Man, this guy's handwriting is awful. I can't read any of these. Oh, wait, here we go. This one's for a brownification elixir. Boil one raven feather to create base darkening agent. Boil one... Add sliced tentabel root as needed to achieve desired brown hue.
Mix in ground femur to enhance bonding properties? <laughs> what kind of incense is this? It smells like sweaty trout. You've never smelt lupin's breath before? Oh my god, that's exactly what this is. And those are samples, if you'd like to take one. Whoa. Hey, Lees, are you there? Yeah, what's up? I need to know if a plant is dangerous. Okay, what's it look like? Uh, an enormous toilet-shaped mouth full of razor-sharp fangs. What do your instincts tell you, Kelvin? That it is totally safe. Kelvin, it's an actual miracle you've lived this long. Do not touch the plant! Why is there a naked dude on this sign? Uh-oh, something weird's coming. Time to activate stealth mode. Well, that wasn't even remotely suspicious. It's locked, and it looks very sturdy. Hmm, it looks like you can swap out the head and the hand somehow. I'm not a big facade guy, but as far as facades go, this facade is tops. No other servants allowed in the kitchen! This pepper looks like it's got a serious kick to it. Cemetery. Eh, close enough. Rat Blaster. Blasts rats faster than a vast pack of fat cats. Hey, uh, do either of you know Leonardo? Wait your turn, rectangle face. I'm in a hurry. I'm not cutting in line. I, I just had a quick question. No question. Only hammer. Okay, then.
I'm not a big facade guy. What the? All of this is fake. Maybe Leo uses it for still life practice. Alberto's Alchemical Sundries and Miscellany. Uh, excuse me? I'd like to... Ah! 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 Why are you screaming? You screamed first! That's pre- <coughs> That's preposterous. I would never do such a thing. Now, what alchemical needs do you have? I'm afraid I'm very busy. What do you know about Leonardo da Vinci? Can we please not discuss that bearded cynic? Man has no respect for my craft. Calls it a tired old pseudoscience. Could a pseudoscience produce a scone that is both salty and sweet? Hmm? A scone? Isn't that just baking? It's alchemy, you fool. Alchemy! All right, jeez. See you later. Huh? Yes, fine, whatever. I wonder what's brewing back there. Uh, in the cauldron? That's for decoration. I'm an alchemist, not a witch. On the one hand, I want to know what's hanging out of its mouth. On the other hand, I like having hands. On the one hand, on the other hand, Realized the moon was this old. Whoa! <laughs> you know how sometimes in adventure games the protagonist will pick something up, even though nobody in their right mind would go anywhere near that thing? This is one of those times. Oh, oh god! Oh, it smells exactly like blue cheese! This thread count is incredible. Somebody knows how to shop for linens. Yeah, look at the widow cuties! You don't need a hoe to dig graves, right? I'll just borrow this for a while. Hey, these drawings are pretty good. Maybe the grave digger's making a comic about a guy with severe mood swings. I thought I told you to stay out! But I'm Leonardo's official taster? Ha! <laughs>
Not likely, String Bean. My cooking would probably kill you if it weren't poisoned. But I'm a promising new culinary genius with everything to prove. And I'm a surly old soup lady with a steak knife. Now scram! Leonardo just told me his breakfast tasted like boiled horse. Well, of course it did. What the devil did he think he was eating? I just saw an old pigeon out in the courtyard. I think it was dying. Out of my way! That's two good meals, at least! <laughs> Whew. This should keep her out for a little while, at least. Looks like it's empty. Open this door right now! Coming! I just slipped on some gravy. She's not gonna want to use the cracked ones, right? I'll just grab a few of those. You got to the count of three, ja! Hang on, it's uh, really windy out here. I can't get to the door. Am I the kind of person that would steal meat out of somebody else's stew? Huh, guess I am. I should really work on that. What's going on out there? Uh, just, just a minute. I think the hinges are covered in syrup. What did you do? N nothing. Nothing. Door just got stuck for a second. Okay, bye. Do plants with teeth eat other plants? I have to test this. For science! <laughs> Remarkable. I'll just hold on to this. The owner's probably a little too chewed up to need it. Bingo! I think I can move these discs now. Commence Operation Trojan Corpse. Kelvin! Good news! I've managed to... Are you okay, Kelvin? You look like you've seen a dead body. Yeah, about that? Oh, no. You killed Leonardo, didn't you? Murderer! You doomed us all! What? No! I I'm in a creepy laboratory with a corpse. A corpse? Did you kill the corpse? How could I kill a corpse? A corpse is a corpse. Of course, of course, but the corpse wasn't always a corpse. Oh my god, Lise. I didn't kill the corpse. <sighs> all right. Sorry. Anyway, good news. I trapped Lupin in a temporal stasis field. If you can finish with Da Vinci before the field dissolves, I can bring you both back simultaneously. Why don't you just bring Lupin back now? If I bring either of you back first, the Chrono Tunnel might collapse, trapping the other in the past. 
Which would create an anomaly so massive that it would definitely destroy the universe. Yeah, pretty much. I'm on the job. Kelvin out. Hmm, there's something real suspicious about how unsuspicious this book looks. Called it. Hey, neat! These are for some sort of giant weapon. Whoa, cool! Toy of the Year 1503! What the? It's a painting of a bulldog in a flowery dress? Oh, neat! I made something like this when I was nine so I could pull my cousin Sarah's ponytail from across the room. Which, of course, led cousin Sarah to retaliate with her pneumatic spitball cannon. Basically, my childhood was a terrifying arms race. Well, it looks like a to-do list, but it's all backwards. There's only one item that isn't crossed off. Take catapult designs to castle for approval from the Duke. Well, it looks like a to-take cat... Welcome, sir. Uh, looking for anybody in particular? Just, uh, browsing. Oh, take your time. They ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Mostly. I'm in the market for a leg bone? You Leonardo's new assistant, then? I am, yes. I assist him with all bone-related matters. So, uh, you bring the goods? Goods? What kind of goods? If you're really Leonardo's assistant, you know exactly what kind of goods. Oh, right. Those goods. Yeah, let me, uh, go get them. See you around. Toodles! I have the goods, I think. <laughs> oh, my God! I love it, I love it, I love it! <laughs> you wanted a leg, right? Be right back. <laughs> Here you go! Don't use it all in one place! I've got some new blueprints from Leonardo da Vinci that need to be approved. Likely story. Let's see him. <laughs> Old man must be starting to lose it if he's hired the likes of you. <sighs> Go on through. Any funny business, and I'll spear you good. I'll just slip the formula somewhere in the middle here. Yes, what is it, commoner? Are you the Duke? Am <laughs> I the Duke? D 
Do you think the Duke answers his own door? Do you know anything about Dukes? So, you're like the Duke's weird friend. I'm his doorman, you simpleton! Due to budget cuts, I also act as his valet, his notary, his stunt double, and his Thursday night wingman. Notary? Does that mean you, like, sign stuff for him? If by stuff you mean missives critical to the governance and preservation of the state? So, boring stuff. <sighs> yes, boring stuff. Now what do you want? I have some blueprints from Leonardo that need to be signed. You're not Leonardo's usual courier. Where's old Giotti? Who? Matthias old Giotti. Enormous mustache, always wears 12 belts for some reason. Oh, Matthias. Right. He, uh, he moved. He fell in love with a beltsmith up in Venice. They didn't want to do the long distance thing. Sensible, but a shame. He was a fine courier. Very well. Where are these blueprints? What the? Is this a formula for hair dye? Huh? Uh, no, that's catapult dye. Why the devil would anyone bother to dye a catapult? Well, after a while, they uh, start to go gray. I can't tell if you're joking, but I'd rather just sign this than investigate it further. That's the spirit? These appear to be in order. I trust that's everything. Sure is. Thanks. Behold, my revolutionary remote in... Stupid, greedy bees never want to share their honey with anybody. Remote incense delivery system deploy! Drink in the stink, bees. You know you hate it. Stinger 1, this is Mission Command. You are clear to engage the Hive. Good luck, soldier. Bravest tiny helicopter I ever saw. Wow, this is sticky. Even for honey. Oh, sweet! I've wanted one of these since I was six! Ugh, now the cheesy smell is super concentrated inside the jar. I guess I will leave this delicious piece of actual cheese directly outside this hole. I sure hope it will not be eaten by a rodent or small dog. <laughs> it's not cheese at all, silly rat. Your nose has betrayed you. Don't forget the air holes, kids. Well, it's got a little honey on it, but overall, it's a pretty nice feather. Ah. 
I'm not going anywhere near that thing again without incapacitating it somehow. Your rat poison is a joke. This rat ate a whole bottle's worth and he's fine. What? How can this be? I demand a refund. Huh. No cash refunds. Store credit or nothing. Store credit it is. Very well. Uh, let me know when you've decided on an item. And let's keep word of this product defect between us, shall we? My lips are zipped. You got anything that could tame an angry plant? Ugh. Is that monstrosity by the graveyard acting up again? You know about it? I created it. Accidentally, I admit. <laughs> Spilled one of my most volatile concoctions on an innocent little weed. Then you gotta have something that can calm it down. I have pills that should soothe it, yes. I'll take them. Very well. Uh, how will you be paying this evening? Uh, let me get back to you. Can I use my store credit on those pills for the plant? Huh, I suppose that's fair. Here you are. Best. Okay, I got the Duke to sign off on the formula. Can you make the dye now? Huh? What? Oh, let me see again. I don't have any of these ingredients in the shop right now. What if I found them for you? Then I suppose I could squeeze you in. But good luck finding a raven's feather, a tannibal root, and a human femur on short notice. See you later. Huh? Yes, fine, whatever. Sleeping pills and meat. Two great tastes that go great together. Chew on this, you grumpy shrub. Dang, that thing's gonna be out for days. One raven feather. Is this honey? Yeah. See, first I smeared honey all over a gravestone, and... Good lord, forget I asked. This is a tentabell root, right? <laughs> Indeed it is. And a sizable one at that. What can I say? I know how to pick them. That's everything, right? Can we finally make this die or what? Oh, very well. Just a moment. Here you are. Please give my regards to the Duke. I have charged his account as usual. Will do. Thanks, bud. Honestly, this is going to be the highlight of my entire life. That ruled. Ooh, maybe if I drop the die on Mona from here, she won't even notice. Here goes nothing. Worth a shot. Kelvin, Lupin's temporal stasis. Kel Kelvin, why do I hear crying in the background?
Oh, that's Mona. I might have dyed her hair without her permission to make her look more like her sister. You what? Calvin, what happened to helping Leonardo da Vinci? I am helping him. Leonardo was going to paint Mona's sister, but Lupin prevented that. So you and Leonardo decided the best course of action was to gussy up Mona? Exactly. Ugh, men. I feel gross even asking, but did it work? Well, her hair's the right color, but now there's the whole uncontrollable weeping thing. Can I make a suggestion, Kelvin? Of course! Apologize, you lug nut. And hurry, Lupin's temporal stasis field is starting to decay. <laughs> Okay, listen. If I break you guys out, will you help me cheer up a lady who won't stop crying? Proposal. Didn't go so well, huh, bud? <laughs> I believe what Groblu meant to say was, Oh my god, yes, please! We'll do literally anything! I had intended to sneak a file into our cell as we were jailed, but I was bumped by a certain lunkhead, and I dropped it into the grate at your feet. I'm sure it's still down there, somewhere. Let's see what's hiding down here. Looks like a raven feather, a human leg bone, some sort of root, ooh, and a file! Come on! Let's blow this joint! Uh, quick question, uh, if I may. How do we intend to elude the ill-tempered fellow with the spear? Follow me! There's a tunnel by the Rose Garden that I used to steal the Duke's dishware. Grow blue, you devious little plate smuggler. I could kiss you. How about you don't? We call it even. All right, let's Easter these up. Hey, you guys are good. Mona's already stopped crying. But of course, we are graduates of the finest fooling academy in the city-state. Well, I am anyway. This clown never finished one of his requirements. Oh, please. How much would I really have gotten out of intro to poop jokes? Depends on what you put in. Could we maybe change things up a little? Mona's still pretty down in the dumps. I suppose we could, uh, switch to the clubs. Time to give them the old switcheroo. 
mind if we uh, change things up again? You're the boss, boss. Hey, don't these feel a little... <laughs> Christmas cactus. <laughs> My God, that's that's it. That's the smile I've so long to capture. Well, then don't just stand there, man. Paint, paint. It looks great. What are you going to call it? Uh, originally, I had intended to call it simply the Lisa, but given the particulars of the creation... Ew! Wait! Are you screaming at me or Leonardo? I believe he is addressing you. Why do you say that? I have never encountered this man before, and it sounds as though the two of you are well acquainted. Not to mention that he appeared out of thin air, highly suggestive of uh, time travel. You really are a genius. Have you ever thought about doing a web series? A series of uh, a series of webs? I'm not familiar with. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! How did the brain dead likes of you manage to thwart my efforts at every turn? Well, just now I painted some eggs, and then I tricked some clowns into juggling them, which caused enough. If you had been half this effective while we were building the machine, none of this would have had to happen! I mean, honestly, I think the bigger problem is your weird obsession with plumbing. Excuse me? It's kind of hard to take these inventions seriously when they all look like a bathroom. Like, even right now. Not super intimidating. Not intimidating. Not intimidating! I'll show you intimidating! Die! Kelvin, come in. You're disintegrated, are you? Please, it's Lupin. He, uh, he... I know. He broke out of the temporal stasis field. He's kidnapped Leonardo, Newton, and Beethoven. We're all trapped in his vault. Also, apparently Lupin has a vault. I'll find him and I'll convince him to surrender. I think I can get through to him. Kelvin? The man built a battle mech out of a bathtub. There's no getting through to him. We have a plan, but we need a few things from you. A wheel, a magnet, and... Uh, Mr. Beethoven, what did you need from Kelvin again? What? Speak up! What do you need from Kelvin? A horn. A what? A horn! What are you, deaf? A horn, for some reason. Uh, I'll text you the list. Also, before Lupin captured me, I configured the time machine to loop through its last three destinations. When you've got everything we need, just hit the manual override to come home. Wait, what was the manual override again? Turn the cold water on full blast. What?! I think I'd rather destroy the universe. Kelvin, get moving! I'll buzz you whenever Lupin's closing in on your location. Oh man, if these had been here before, I could have looked even fancier. I'm a time traveling jewel thief. We meet. Hey, 
Hey, I remember these from geometry class. They're for making circles, right? Score one for simple machines. That impresario dude is gonna be mad! Please, I found everything! Great work, Kelvin. Toss the stuff in first. I don't want that magnet interfering with your biosignal. What the- Behold, idiot! The Symphonic Spider! It will feature prominently in my next fan fiction, in which Larry Platter is forced to... Can it wait, Isaac? There's an awful lot at stake. No one ever appreciates my craft. Formation, people! Lupin is incoming! Oh, how convenient! Now I can destroy all of you at once! Give it up, boss! You're outmanned and outgunned! Outgunned? <laughs> By what? You built a Frankenstein's piano! Says the cook in the working bathtub. Cook! I'm the most stable person in the room! Clearly. That's it! So long! So-called geniuses! Ludwig, now! What? Now! Oh, right. At least, I still have mini golf. We did it! I can't believe it! A fine job, time traveler. Your uh, dopey appearance belies an unexpected competence. We are indebted to you, Kelvin. You have inspired each one of us to continue our work with a renewed vigor. Whatever. I still think he's a moron. Kelvin, you just saved us. You just saved the universe! Well, you did all the important science stuff, Lise. All I did was use random objects on other random objects until everything worked out. But don't you see, my boy? That is science! No, it's not! It's not even close! Would you shut up? I'm trying to encourage him. Kelvin, this is a violation of typical workplace etiquette, and to be clear, is by no means an obligation of mine to reward your heroism, but regardless. Great job, Kelvin.